prosecutor, of course, uh, went back to the old argument that uh, Banunu is a threat to the security and she even said that if Banunu will be released, probably the Americans will leave Iraq and go after Israel and Israel uh, nuclear weapons, which I found extremely ridiculous. Minnesota, the peace bridge and a weekly ritual. Every Wednesday, hundreds protest against the war. Mary's there, so of course is Nick. Every week the numbers grow. There's a new generation of peaceniks who were children when Israel's nuclear weapons were exposed. Any of you guys heard of Mordecai Vanunu? No, no. You don't know who he is? No. no. <laughs> and if I tell you that he's somebody who exposed Israel's weapons of mass destruction, which nobody knew about until then, what would you say? Why is our media that's supposed to be free and open not telling us? And why is our government not letting us know this information if we're living in the home of the free? I think if our administration was consistent or had any integrity, then he'd be held up as a hero. We're going to work with the members of the Security Council in the days ahead to make it clear to Saddam that the demands of the world and the United Nations will be enforced. In Washington, which gives Israel more than $3 billion a year, the talk is only of Iraq. For weeks, we've tried to get an interview about Israel's weapons of mass destruction, but no one in this Bush administration wants to talk about Israel. So we've asked for an interview about the military balance of power in the Middle East, and now they've agreed. This morning, we've finally been told that we're going to have an interviewee. He's an expert in all matters Israeli, he's an undersecretary of defense, and his name is Douglas Fife. The Pentagon has demanded a list of questions in advance. So, it's the balance of power, Israel's nuclear ambiguity, allegations of a double standard, and Mordecai Venunu. The gravest danger facing America and the world is outlaw regimes that seek and possess nuclear, chemical, and biological weapons. Yet again, the shutters have come down on this story. Our interview with Under Secretary for Defense, Douglas Fife, was scheduled for four o'clock, somewhere in this vast complex of the Pentagon behind me. Yet at the last minute, we've heard the interviews canceled. Questions about Israel, it appears, are strictly off limits. We'd received this email from the Pentagon. Ladies, we showed Mr. Fife the list of topics for the BBC interview. He is not willing to answer any of the questions you listed. Respectfully request you resubmit your questions as soon as possible this morning. Questions directed toward the current Iraqi situation. On February the 19th, Vanunu was again refused parole. He remains in Ashkelon prison. Horev has let it be known he intends never to let Mordecai Venunu leave Israel. You can comment on tonight's program by visiting our website at www.bbc.co.uk forward slash correspondent. Next on Correspondent, America's Child Soldiers, how the military are taking over America's schools. That's next Sunday at 6.45.